Mr. Stuffy's gone. No, he's not. He's just laying on the floor over there. Yes, he's been molested the, as the karate sex doll by someone else. <sighs> so or, who, who was that that loves him? Shh, quiet. We're not supposed to tell. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> anyways, you see we built the beer shrine. Beer chapel. Because it's our respect Altar. for our drunkenness. I mean, our for beer. So, res beer. respecting beer tonight, what, what number beer review are we on tonight, Johnny? We are on 550. That's right, and if you know speaking the Spanish, that th would be five five zero. That's right, five five zero, and the zero gets a heart like love. And I, it just seems like yesterday we did review five hundred. Yes, it probably was yesterday. Oh uh, well. Anyway, <laughs> I figured we had to pick a beer that was pretty huge and epic. Um. Oh, <laughs> the dog's humping his bitch now. Anyway, sorry. I'm trying to. Yeah, he's trying to. He's thinking about it. But um. <laughs> We have a beer that's equally as epic today. What beer is it, Johnny? Uh, we have Decadence. Decadence. L. Smith. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. L. Smith, the 2012 Belgian Abbey Quad. That's right. And I heard about this beer originally through Jameson, okay? And not the Irish whiskey. No, no. And uh, Jameson, shout out to you, man. Um, shout out to your dad, too. This beer review is in your honor today. I wouldn't have had this beer on my radar screen, screen unless I saw your review of it, so. And, of course, when he... He bought it. He said, hey, go get it off of uh, that beer uh, online store out in California. Craft Shack. Yeah, I wasn't there. Since they're not a sponsor, eh? Maybe they will be. <laughs> sponsor us, Craft Shack. We so, buy beer out from you. I'm going to start opening this. Of course, we've used our foil removal technique nice and easy and clean already. And Johnny's going to tell you more about this lovely beer. Woohoo! It is a Abbey Quad, and it's brewed once. And we're... Starting off with 12% ABV and 15 to 25% or 20 percent IBUs. So it was released in January of 2013 and it was brewed for their 17th anniversary. Used Belgian malts and yeast. Decadence changes every year to different styles. And they're out of San Diego, wow. California, if we didn't say that. So, man. This looks gorgeous. Really dark, kind of like uh, Rope for 10 is. Wow. A lot, lot darker than Westy, right? Yes. Color wise. Big flavor. Big, well. big nose. Okay, appearance wise, it's got a really um, like mahogany sort of color. A lot of like ruby glow coming through it. Happy late 17th anniversary, Hell Smith. Happy birthday to us, anyway. <laughs> we, got a, we got a half finger head, really tight khaki, like off white bubbles. Um, really nice looking. It's not ruddy like some quads are. Obviously, I guess it's been filtered. Johnny's like it. I'm going to give the aroma on it. Let's see. <laughs> He's already drinking. Of course. Wow, gigantic, gigantic <laughs> dark fruits. Like, wow, big caramel. Just waiting. No alcohol aroma. <laughs> Plum, fig, cherries, dates. Wow. Brown sugar. Damn, I'm getting a drink For of this, those guys. beer Cheers. snobs that want to try this, this is... This is good. This is awesome. Damn. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's... It tastes... Wow. It tastes like bubble gum. It tastes like wow. dark fruits. It tastes like... Uh, yeasty, bready. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah, just wow is a big... The, big the dark fruits in this are just... Yeah, apricots. And this is like a dark fruit bomb to the maximum. The only beer I've had close to this taste, and it was nowhere near as intense, was that year or two old Wolfgang Doppelbach I had from Great Divide. Mm -hmm. That yeast tasted like this, but man, the this is a, like a medium full mouth feel, super coating, very sweet beer. If you're not into sweet beers, this won't be send your thing. Send it to us. Send it to us. If you got an extra bottle and you say, oh damn, they're telling me it's sweet, I won't like that, yep. just send it on, we will drink it. But the alcohol is very well hidden in this beer. I feel it in the chest, yes. but that yeah. is it. Feels like cough medicine. <laughs> wow. I, I, but this is a sipper, but it's amazingly easy to drink. There's enough hop sipper. left in this at like I guess a what a year old. 
It is. Well, this came out in January. 15 to 25 IBUs, you're tasting hops? Like, no, like, um, oh. like floral hops in there. But, man, wow. It's, the caramel in this is like a freight train of caramel. It's like you've got, like, syrup, caramel syrup or something soaked dark it's fruits. like cherry syrup. Wow. Almost like a cough syrup, but not bad. Not that no. bad way. It's like awesome flavor. Just yeah, it, it's a it's a relaxed beer. I would slam it, but you know I'll respect it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean it, it it's one of those that you'll just want to sit back and relax and enjoy. Uh, this would be a great beer to have it like is a great beer. like in four packs. Yeah, <laughs> like that, like that. I mean, four packs of it would be cool. Yeah, one for each hand. Exactly, one for each. But I mean, four packs would be cool because you could, you know, the four pack cork and cage stuff, like the um, yeah. Ovila. Ovila is now. But man, excuse me. I mean, the carbonation spot on this beer, it's <coughs> exactly. It's super silky when it goes down. Damn. But like I said, if you don't like sweet beers, send got, the bottle to us. Got a little hint of effervescence. Just right on the tongue, mm -hmm. kind of gives it the cherry, plum, apricot, caramel, toffee flavors in there. Very nice, wow. mild, very pleasing. It's got a um, like a semi-dry finish too that like invites you back to drink more. It's not it's not cloyingly sweet. We're saying it's sweet, but this is like a dessert in a glass all into itself. And I like dessert in a glass. I'm not. Much cheese, on cake. But cheesecake would go real good with this. Cheesecake. Plain cheesecake. <laughs> yep. Maybe some chocolates, like some Belgian chocolates yeah. or whatever. But yeah. man, this is a this is I'm gonna this is the best American quad, and we've drank quite a few American quads now. Yeah. And this is the best American quad I've had hands down. Yep. There's no doubt about it. But damn. So you hear us kind of geeking out on this. What do you grade a beer like this? Could you guess rate beers grade maybe? Ooh ooh. Can you do it? Our buddies over at rate beer. Hold on, let me see. 100. Ding, 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 ding. Woo! You know it's at least 97 because it's a 12% beer. Yeah, no, this That's is guaranteed. 100. But this is a right beer, 100. And Beer, beer Advocate? Ad the dude's over at Beer Advocate. Great at 91. I, I actually, I'm going to go along more with right beer this time. I mean, it's, uh, it, there is way, no way an A- minus beer. Ain't no way. No. Um, I, it'd be interesting to see what the people had to say to give it a 91. Because, I mean, that's an average. So you're talking... 89, 80s, you know. Cellared like this one is with, I guess, like a year on it. It says yeah. 2012, but they released this a year from release date because they released it in January of, of the 13, right? But cellared like this is, I'm going to give it an A+. Plus. I'm going to give it a 98 straight up. It, it's a little a little one-dimensional, say, compared to a Westie or a Rogue for 10 that has maybe more layers of flavor, but... I would drink this beer again, buy it again, and and hoard it again. Well, I got another bottle, but so we are hoarding it. But um, this beer just fucking kicks ass. Um, yeah, I, I like the '98 as well. I, it, it's mm. it's big on smell, big on upfront flavor, hits you right in the face. Uh, if you like those, that sort of attraction, that boom in your face. This is something for you. If you this is not. Yeah, this is no training just, wheels beer. Yeah, yeah. This, mm -hmm. this is you know you you've got to like beer in order to drink this. This is a decadent beer. It is. You know decadent. what? If you like dessert wines a lot too, like if you like ice wine and things that are on that high sweet spectrum of Scott wine as well. And all that. Yeah, you, they probably like this beer too. Could be a little but, different, you know, depending. And if you're a big fan of like plums and prunes and like dried fruits, yeah. you'd probably like this beer too because this is like the the inside flesh of those fruits. The flavors coming out of this, but man, I I would I I would trade for this beer if I had to again. If I saw another one in the store, I'd buy it without hesitation. No wonder you told me to bring my bottle. That's right. <laughs> Beer geek is smart. That's right. I, I just had to look behind me. That's right. We've got a couple it's other bottles. In here. I know where I'm sleeping tonight. <laughs> well, we've got some mats over there, and, and Mr. Stuffy might like to blow sweet nothings into your ear. It's a game. There's a door right out there. I can just <laughs> haul these boxes into the trunk of the car. <laughs> Remember, always keep your stunt drinker in your sight. So, to the next DJ's Brew Tube, thanks a million for watching. And also, remember, you send us more beer. Send us more beer. Think globally. And what else? Uh, drink more beer. Drink locally. Support the... 
Come on. Macro beer movement. Oh, craft beer movement, damn it. Are you not going to have Budweiser tonight? <laughs> yeah, maybe to clean the toilet, but that's about it. So, till next time, thanks a million for rating, commenting, subscribing, and hit, hitting that like button. And, um, yes, you're going to say, John, I like Johnny. I want to see more Johnny. Okay, yeah. So, till then, thanks a million. And that's a big what? Peace out.